PCB Manufacturing Process A step-by-step -step guide PCB fabrication is the process or procedure that transforms a circuit board design into a physical structure based upon the specifications provided in the design package. This physical manifestation is achieved through the following actions or techniques. Printed circuit boards are typically made with copper. Depending on the requirements, the copper is plated to a substrate and carved away to expose the design of the board. Since there are multiple layers, they must be lined up and bonded together for a secure fit. Before PCB design, circuit designers are recommended to get a tour of a PC board shop and communicate with fabricators face to face over their PCB manufacturing demands. It helps prevent designers making any unnecessary errors from getting transmitted during the design stage. However, as more companies outsource their PCB manufacturing inquiries to overseas suppliers, this becomes unpractical. On this account, we present this article in order to provide a proper understanding of PCB board manufacturing process steps. Hopefully it gives circuit designers and those new to PCB industry a clear view on how printed circuit boards are manufactured, and avoid making those unnecessary errors. PCB Manufacturing Flow Chart Step 1. Designing the PCB Step 2. Design Review and Engineering Questions Step 3. Printing the PCB Design Step 4. Printing the copper for the interior layer Step 5. Etch the inner layers or core to remove copper Step 6. Layer Alignment Step 7. Automated Optical Inspection Step 8. Laminating the PCB Layers Step 9. Drilling Step 10. PCB Plating Step 11, Outer Layer Imaging Step 12, Outer Layer Etching Step 13, Outer Layer Alley Step 14, Solder Mask Application Step 15, Silk Screen Application Step 16, Finishing the PCB Step 17, Electrical Reliability Test Step 18, Profiling and Route Out Step 19, Quality Check and Visual Inspection Step 20, Packaging and Delivery Introduction PCB Manufacturing Process Step by Step Step 1, the design before you begin manufacturing the PCB, you need to have a design of the board. These blueprints will be what you base the process off of. The design process is generally completed through computer software. Using a trace width calculator will help with the majority of the details needed for inner and external layers. Step 2, printing the design a special printer called a plotted printer is used to print the design of the PCB. It produces a film that shows the details and layers of the board. When printed, there will be two ink colors used on the inside layer of the board, clear ink to show the non-conductive areas, and black ink to show the conductive copper traces and circuits. The same colors are used for the outer layers, but the meaning of them is reversed. Step 3, creating the substrate now is when the PCB will start to form. The substrate, which is the insulating material, epoxy resin and glass fiber, that holds the components on the structure, begins forming by passing the materials through an oven to be semi-cured. Copper is pre-bonded to both sides of the layer and then etched away to show the design from the printed films. Step 4. Printing the inner layers The design is printed to a laminate, the body of the structure. A photosensitive film made from photoreactive chemicals that will harden when exposed to ultraviolet light, the resist, covers the structure. This will help align the blueprints and the actual print of the board. Holes are drilled into the PCB to help with the alignment process. Step 5. Ultraviolet light once aligned. The resistant laminate go under ultraviolet lights to harden the photoresist. The light reveals the pathways of copper. The black ink from before prevents hardening in areas that will be removed later on. The board is then washed in an alkaline solution to remove the excess photoresist. Step 6. Removing unwanted copper Now, it is time to remove any unwanted copper that remained on the board. A chemical solution, similar to the alkaline solution, eats away at the unwanted copper. The hardened photoresist remains intact. Step 7, Inspection The newly cleaned layers will need to be inspected for alignment. The holes drilled earlier help align the inner and outer layers. An optical punch machine drills a pin through the holes to keep the layers lined up. After the optical punch, another machine will inspect the board to ensure there are no defects. From here on out, you will not be able to correct any missed errors. Step 8, Laminating the layers Now, you will see the board take shape as the layers are fused together. Metal clamps hold the layers together as the laminating process begins. A pre-preg, epoxy resin, layer goes on the alignment basin. Then, a layer of substrate goes over the pre-preg followed by a copper foil layer and more pre-preg resin. Lastly, there is on more copper layer applied, which is the press plate. Step 9, pressing the layers A mechanical press is then used to press the layers together. Pins are punched through the layers to keep them properly aligned and secured. These pins can be removed depending on the technology. 
If correct, the PCB will go to the laminating press, which applies heat and pressure to the layers. The epoxy melts inside of the prepregna, along with the pressure, fuses the layers together. Step 10. Drilling holes are drilled into the layers by a computer guided drill to expose the substrate and inner panels. Any remaining copper after this step is removed. Step 11. Plating the board is now ready to be plated. A chemical solution fuses all of the layers together. The board is then thoroughly cleaned by another series of chemicals. These chemicals also coat the panel with a thin copper layer, which will seep into the drilled holes. Step 12. Outer layer imaging next, a layer of photoresist, similar to step 3, is applied to the outside layer before being sent for imaging. Ultraviolet light hardens the photoresist. Any undesired photoresist is removed. Step 13. Plating just like in step 11, the panel is plated with a thin copper layer. After this, a thin tin guard is layered to the board. The tin is there to protect the copper of the outside layer from being etched off. Step 14. Etching the same chemical solution from before removes any unwanted copper under the resist layer. The tin guard layer protects the needed copper. This step establishes the PCB's connections. Step 15. Solder mask application All of the panels should be cleaned before the solder mask is applied. An epoxy is applied with the solder mask film. The solder mask applies the green color you typically see on a PCB. Any unwanted solder mask is removed with ultraviolet light, while the wanted solder mask is baked onto the board. Step 16. Silk screening Silk screening is a vital step since this process is what prints critical information onto the board. Once applied, the PCB passes through one last coating and curing process. Step 17. Surface finish The PCB is plated with either a solderable finish, depending on the requirements, which will increase the quality slash bond of the solder. Step 18. Testing before the PCB is considered complete, a technician will perform an electrical test on the board. This will confirm the PCB functions and follows the original blueprint designs.